When the people of Ammon accepted Jesus, they had promised to never fight again. The Nephites had been protecting them, but now the Nephites were facing great danger. The people of Ammon were considering fighting in the war so they could protect the Nephites. Helaman convinced them to keep their promise to God. Their sons had not made that promise, and they had been raised by their mothers to be valiant, to keep the commandments, and to trust God. They made their own covenant with God, promising to fight to protect themselves and the Nephites from bondage. They were known as the Stripling Warriors, and Helaman led them in battle. They lured the Lamanites out of one of the captured cities by acting scared as they went by the city wall. Let's go get those guys! Many Nephites died in the battle that followed. But the Nephites won because the Stripling Warriors scared the Lamanites into surrendering. Helaman received revelations and God blessed the Stripling Warriors because of their faith, allowing them to retake many cities without even fighting. When they did fight, God watched over them. In a battle where over a thousand Nephites were killed, none of the Stripling Warriors died. Many of them fainted, but all were saved. Meanwhile, Amaron and Moroni negotiated a prisoner swap. Amaron, unless you repent and withdraw your armies, God's justice hangs over you. I'm probably wasting my time because you're a child of hell unwilling to change. But I'll exchange prisoners, one of your men, for a family you have taken hostage. If you don't trade, we'll attack you. Moroni, I'm Amaron, the king of the Lamanites, the brother of Amalekiah, whom you murdered. I will avenge his death. I don't fear your threats. It's the Nephites who robbed the right to govern from my people. We fight to correct the wrong done by your fathers. If you'll lay down your weapons and become our subjects, then we'll stop fighting. Still, I'll agree to your swap so I can save the food for my soldiers. Moroni was so mad at Amaron that he refused to swap prisoners. Instead, Moroni sent a Lamanite who was living among the Nephites to the city with the prisoners. Don't hurt me! I was a prisoner among the Nephites, but I stole their wine as I escaped. I'll share it with you. The guards got completely drunk. While they were knocked out, Moroni armed the Nephite prisoners in the city. When the Lamanite guards woke up, they were surrounded and so they surrendered. But the Nephite army didn't receive reinforcements, and so they lost more cities. Moroni received a revelation that he should fight against the Nephites who weren't helping protect the land. Moroni assumed that Pahoran, the chief judge, was to blame, and so Moroni sent Pahoran an angry letter. Pahoran didn't get mad. He knew Captain Moroni's motives were good, and so he asked Moroni to stop the kingmen who were going to help the Lamanites. Moroni helped defeat the kingmen, and the Nephites began to recapture their cities. Then one night, Teancum snuck into the Lamanite camp and killed Amaron. This time the Lamanites heard Teancum, and they killed him. The next day, the Nephite army chased the Lamanites out of their land. During the peace that followed, many people traveled and explored new places. Helaman gave Shiblon the scripture records, who later passed it on to Helaman's son, Helaman Jr., who then led the church. If you like these videos, check out my LEGO comic books. You can find them on Amazon.